Located in Waigani near the Parliament House, the PNG National Museum and Art Gallery houses a substantial collection of artifacts from our country's varied and rich cultural history. With no entry fee, they are open from 9am to 4pm on weekdays, but due to COVID restrictions, the museum is only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There are 50,000 ethnographic objects in the museum's collection. At the beginning of the collection program of its earliest historical artifacts was actually started by William McGregor in 1889, and more recently the building itself was refurbished in 2017 on its 40th anniversary. Now the first thing you'll notice when you walk inside is the temperature. It is quite cold inside the museum. Now the low temperature is for the artifacts, not for the staff or visitors. This is done to keep everything at a relative humidity that ensures that the artifacts stay in their best possible condition while on display. The museum contains five galleries. To your left when you enter is the Bernard Mulu Narakobi Gallery, named after one of Papua New Guinea's foremost philosophers and writers. This gallery, much like his writings, are a window into the depth of which culture is ingrained in Papua New Guinean societies, as well as highlighting how Papua New Guinean values can continue to inform the future development of our country. Consisting of ethnographic collections, this gallery is made up of everyday utensils and what they used day to day in those ancient times, as well as shields and various headdresses. Next is the Ian Sai Manyap Gallery. This is the archaeology gallery named after one of the first PNG scientists in the fields of ethnography and biology. Here you can find displays of ancient stone tools as well as artifacts of Papuan pottery. On the opposite end is the Bejijimo Gallery. This section is mainly about World War II and contains recordings and interviews done with those who took part in the war and were alive during that time. They also have a system that allows you to access ebooks. All these QR codes are a book that you can access from their server. Next is the Tumbuna Gallery, which holds an extensive collection of traditional carvings from all over PNG. This gallery occupies the largest area in the museum, as some of the artifacts reach up to the ceiling. The contents are mostly historical and are to do with initiations and traditionally oriented carvings. And finally, there is the Susan Karike Gallery. The name of this gallery honors Susan Karike Huhume, who is recognized as the designer of the Papua New Guinean flag. This gallery has displays of hunting technology, such as traps built for all different kinds of animals from a variety of environments, such as various fishing traps and traps for smaller land mammals. The gallery also features paintings carrying the theme of traps and holding things. And this is also present in the displays featuring various types of billums. Now artifacts that are on display are always on rotation, so there's always something new to see whenever you visit. Simply being in the presence of so much information and rich cultural history can get quite overwhelming. Luckily, there are also plenty designated sitting areas for visitors throughout the museum. 
Now they also provide tours from Monday to Friday which are free of charge if arranged within business hours. And you can request a tour in the form of an email. They'll need to know how many will be in your party, the purpose of the visit as well as the name of the group. You can find their contact information on their website at museumpng.gov.pg. For more on information centers around Port Moresby, be sure to like and follow NewNet on all of our platforms. NewNet. Education everywhere.